Kathleen Harlock speaking to you from my home in Naples, Florida. I am president of CIFA, which is Creative Floral Arrangers of the Americas, consisting of over 300 members from North and South America. And we have a seminar every February in Orlando. However, this year coming up, we will not have it because of the pandemic and we will hold it in 2022 in Orlando, and it will even be better. We are working on lots and lots of new ideas. Our CIFA is going to be new and better. You probably have received your copy of Design Dimensions from the last seminar. It's wonderful. And I'm hoping very much that we will, I know we will have a full design dimension, and we will also produce something in the following year to be decided, but wonderful. I'm finding that I have the ability to speak to 800 people without a problem. Put me in front of a camera in my living room in very comfortable environment and I become tongue-tied. So please forgive me if I'm not the professional that I normally hope to be. In any case, what you're about to see is our first video and I am retaping the introduction because I was doing the video on my lanai and the lighting was so poor that it washed me out, I look like a ghost. So I'm going to delete that part of that video and add this in, and hopefully the, the melding of the two will give us a very good presentation for you. So I will now cut to the original, picking up where I started discussing the wonderful, wonderful tools and mechanics that you can purchase at CIFA. So that's what we'll be uh, highlighting in these, in these videos. To show you is this tool that I have discovered through Ikebana. I'm also an Ikebana instructor, and this tool has really revolutionized my use of my materials, my, my, my clippers anyway. Uh, it's cross between a sponge, pumice stone, sandpaper, and what it does is keep my equipment, my, my shears, very clean. I dip it in water and I take, see the little rust there, or uh, debris, whatever gets on there, and I clean it with this little amazing tool and it takes all of that off and then what I do is dip the ends of my shears in kerosene, wipe it off, clip it and then keep it dry and it just keeps forever. So I just thought I'd share that tip with you. I'm going to try to get Sifa to find out where Ikebana purchases those and have them for you at the 2022 seminar. And let me start with what I have today to work with. I have a Ken Schwartz beautiful structure that has lovely line and sort of amorphous pieces of metal but it's very sturdy and has a beautiful line to work with. When I'm doing designs, I think that line is the most important part of your design. And I have wonderful monkey puzzle vine here that I have purchased at Sifa years ago. And I'm going to insert that into one of the holes here and get it to hook right on to the structure there. There we go. 
and look at the beautiful spaces, the very graceful line that this gives me. Then I have another monkey puzzle line piece with also great interest, great curves. And I will try to insert that in the design. Okay, now I've got it somewhat secure. I'm going to insert a queen flower. This is from Sifa as well. It comes in this kind of off green, a tan, and a red. I've used them in so many places. This one I like because it's so neutral with this, not to take away from the beauty of the structure and the vine. So I'm going to insert this, hopefully, and get it to behave. Behave. Oh, that's not bad. That's sort of well behaved. I'm amazed. And I have, this is a splenium nidus, sometimes called lettuce fern, that I grow in the garden. We have a few acres here and um, wonderful, wonderful greenery. Not too many tropical flowers, but a lot of gorgeous greenery. And I resort to in actually ordering my greens, my, my flowers, my tropicals from Hawaii. So I'll try to insert this. I have pre-cut some of this because we have little buggies here that are sort of trying to eat all our plants, but they have their fill and then they tend to go away, so I let them alone. So I've just cut a little bit of that out and let's see if we can get this in for a contrast of color, shape, size, line, I don't want to interfere too much with my lines, but I need some other interest. So I have another piece. I just love that stuff. It's so pretty. Uh, let's see, where are we going to put this? Right in here. I don't want to get too much in here because I am a minimalist at heart, although you would not know it from looking at the amount of containers and things that I own. So, you're not doing what I want you to do either. Okay, let's call that done. 